everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Today is Sunday and I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't feel like it. I didn't really do anything. And yeah, well, I'm not really doing anything today. But like the day is pretty much over. It's like 5 o'clock or actually I think it's nearly 5.30. Let me check my Fitbit. Nearly 5.30. Um, I'm gonna do a workout finally <laughs> and I might um, make some like gingerbread treats like bliss ball kind of things um, yeah I've just found like a couple of recipes online and I'll just pick one that I have the ingredients for and make it and see how they turn out if they're shit then i'll just throw them in bin <laughs> um so yeah obviously i will credit the person that put the like i'm not going to claim it as my own recipe but yeah um so yeah i'm about to do a workout i'm not going to film that because i don't want to and yeah nick's at work and it's actually a really nice day outside, even though the day's pretty much over. Nice and sunny and blue skies. So, yeah, that's all for now, I guess. Um, what's tomorrow? Monday. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. And I don't know. I think we might go see the Maya window on Tuesday. So... Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, that's all for now. Well, I did my workout and now, um, I'm so buggered. I'm so hot. And I'm just gonna chillax for a bit and go on the computer. And then I might eat dinner or make the little balls I was gonna make. I'm not sure. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. I'm extremely red. That's what happens. He's being adorable. What are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to make a these gingerbread bliss balls. What's the recipe? Carly's recipe. Recipe.com. Um, there's the website if you want it. Um, so they're called gingerbread bliss balls. Uh, so yeah, two cups almond meal, dates, ground ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, I'm not using cardamom, cloves, not sure about the almonds, and I've got those. Yes, let's have a look at the method. I don't have a food processor, I have to do it in the nutri ninja thing. So I just blitzed up these almonds. I'm gonna put that in there. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work in the Nutri Ninja, but it chopped them up pretty good. Um, I've cut up all these dates into little bits. Um, I'm gonna soak them in water that's like the kettle boiling for a little bit so they're soften, so it's easier to do. Because last time we tried to make balls and I put them in the Nutri Ninja, it all just kind of clumped together, <laughs> so I need to soak them, and yeah, I'll mix it as much as I can in the Nutri Ninja, and then I will probably just mix it with a spoon or with my hands or something like that. So I've got my almond meal and all my spices in there, the cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, and I'm just waiting for my dates to soften a bit and my nuts are in there that's the other half of the almond meal that's going to go in the bowl and yeah we'll see how the dates are they shouldn't take too long to cut them up pretty soft pretty small not soft so this is what my mixture looks like sorry about the lighting it's like really late and by really that in midnight time. It is 10 to 9. Um, 
I'm gonna put a bit more cinnamon and nutmeg in it. And then I think I'll be done. And then I can roll it into bowls. And then I will show you the finished product. So for mine, I'm using a rice malt syrup. So as you can choose from rice malt syrup, maple syrup and honey. I chose rice malt syrup because um, I didn't want it too sweet. But then I was tasting it and it didn't taste sweet enough. So I just added two uh, teaspoons of maple syrup and it tastes really good enough. So um, I'm going to roll it into the balls now. I tried it. It tastes really gingerbready. And it's not too bad for you. So that's good. This is the finished product. That's what they look like. How many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I made ten. So if you wanted a bigger, I would make less, obviously. Um, they taste real good. So yeah, all credit goes to carlysrecipe.com. It's a website, I'll link it down below so you can find it if you want to make these balls. And yeah, they're really quite yummy. I was just looking for like a gingerbread bliss ball online. This recipe seemed the easiest and I had most of the ingredients. So that's why I chose that one. Um, so yeah, you could obviously adapt it, use different things if you wanted to. Or yeah, just look for a different recipe. It's up to you. You don't have to put nuts in it. Um, you could probably swap out the almond milk for oats. And yeah, that's all for now. Uh, hi everyone, sorry I forgot to end the vlog yesterday, so thanks for watching and please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.